Guayana's National Park Reserve, National Marine Conservation Area, and Haida Heritage Site, usually referred to simply as Guayanas, is located in southernmost Haida Gwaii, formerly known as Queen Charlotte Islands, 130 kilometers (81 miles) off the mainland of British Columbia, Canada. Guayanas protects an archipelago of 138 islands, the largest being Moresby Island and the southernmost being Cunghit Island. Guayanas means islands of beauty. In X, A, A, Y, D, A, Kill, the language of the Haida people. The Haida Heritage Site is within the territory of the Haida people, who have lived in Haida Gwai for at least 14,000 years. Kaigang. Na the Haida Canon of Oral Histories show Haida lived in Gwai Hanas when the first trees arrived at Zagya Gwaay, Yaay, Bulkas Islands, as glaciers retreated. Pollen samples indicate trees first arrived 14,500 years ago. Numerous films have covered Guayanas, including the 2011 short National Parks Project, directed by Scott Smith and scored by Sarah Harmer, Jim Guthrie, and Bry Webb. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Establishing Guayanas. From the 1970s through the early 1980s, plans to expand logging to Burnaby Island led to controversy, and the first concerted efforts to protect Guayanas. The South Moresby Wilderness Proposal was drawn up in an effort to stem natural resource exploitation. To prevent logging, the Haida Nation designated the Haida Heritage Site in 1985, encompassing roughly the southern third of the archipelago. Importantly, the heritage site included a swath of land and sea, both terrestrial and marine areas. However, logging continued, amidst legal and political battles. In 1987, logging ended when the governments of Canada and British Columbia signed the South Moresby Memorandum of Understanding. This accord led to the South Moresby Agreement a year later, which created South Moresby National Park Reserve. It was not a full national park, it was an area reserved to become a national park, because there were outstanding claims to land ownership among federal and tribal governments. But the measure safeguarded the area, and permitted shared stewardship. It would be managed as if it were a national park, pending land claims. <laughs> Cooperatively managed In 1993 the Government of Canada and the Council of the Haida Nation signed the Guayanas Agreement, which changed the name of the National Park Reserve to a native name. This agreement expresses respect for both Canadian and Haida designations and interests, and includes a mutual commitment to the protection of Guayanas. Because the Park Reserve and the Haida Heritage Site nearly coincide on land, its official name reflected both designations, Guayanas National Park Reserve and Haida Heritage Site. Based on the agreement, Guayanas is cooperatively managed by the Archipelago Management Board AMB, which is made up of an equal number of representatives from the Council of Haida Nation and the Government of Canada. The AMB is responsible for all aspects of planning, operation, and management of Guayanas. <laughs> Guayanas National Marine Conservation Area Reserve For the Haida, the marine and terrestrial environments are inseparable. The boundary between earth and ocean exists only on a map. Such is not the case with the park reserve. While the heritage site includes both land and sea, the National Park Reserve overlaps with only the terrestrial portion of the site. The Guayanas Agreement provided for native federal negotiations on managing the marine portion of the site, which eventually bore fruit in 2010 when an enveloping protected area was created. Like the National Park Reserve it surrounds, the Marine Reserve is reserved for future designation to full park system status, pending sea claim settlements. Meantime, the Guayanas NMCAR will balance protecting marine ecosystems, while also allowing ecologically sustainable use. This includes traditional harvesting, recreational and commercial fishing, the appearance of Haida Heritage Site. In both the names of the National Park Reserve and the Marine Reserve is a duplication of name, but not of reference. As part of the National Park Reserve name, it refers to the terrestrial portion of the site. As part of the Marine Reserve name, it refers to the marine portion of the site. Still, there are areas of the heritage site—both land and sea—which are outside both federal reserves. These are all in the northernmost parts of the site. 
Guayana's National Marine Conservation Area Reserve, which covers 3,400 square kilometers, is a primary feeding habitat of the humpback whale North Pacific population protected by Canada's Species at Risk Act with the NMCAR established, nearly 5,000 square kilometers of Guayanas are protected. This is one of the only places in the world where a representative area is protected from mountain top to ocean depth. Guayana's crest The AMB's crest crafted by local Haida artist Jitsa represents the unique joint management relationship. The AMB chose the sea otter and the sea urchin because of the creature's significance in the history and tradition of the protected area and because of their ecological significance. Populations of sea urchin, a kelp grazing species, were once kept in check by sea otters, ensuring an abundance of kelp and species that depend upon kelp communities. With the extirpation of sea otters during the maritime fur trade, the natural balance between species in the community was disturbed. As a result, the sea urchin population has increased dramatically over time and the health of kelp forests is threatened. The loss of the sea otter is a powerful reminder of the vulnerability of individual species and entire ecosystems. <laughs> World Heritage and National Historic Site Haida Village Ninstints Nan SDINs or SG Ang GWAAY Lilnagai on Anthony Island, located in the southernmost part of Guayanas, just west of Kunghit Island, was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a National Historic Site of Canada in 1981. The remains of a Haida village on the eastern side of the island, SG, Ang Gwaay Lilnagai, represent an outstanding example of a traditional northwest coast First Nations village site, complete with standing totem poles and the remains of cedar longhouses. Haida people have a continuing presence at SG, Ang Gwaay and four other village sites between May to September as part of the Haida Gwai Watchman program. Between two and four watchmen live at each site, serving as guardians to protect the natural and cultural heritage of these sites. Other historical villages within the boundaries of Guayanas included Kumsheva, Klu, Tanu, and Gigua. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Potential expansion. In 2004, Parks Canada, on behalf of the federal government, added the entirety of Guayanas to its tentative list of potential future World Heritage Sites, pending approval by UNESCO. Ecology Terrain and climate The landscapes of Guayanas vary from deep fjords to rugged mountains, salmon spawning streams to sub-alpine tundra. Close to 90% of Guayanas is forested, 9% is alpine and sub-alpine tundra. The remaining 1% is made up of lakes and wetlands, as water drains from the highest mountains, including the rugged San Cristobal Range with peaks over 1,100 meters 3,609 feet it helps fill over 40 freshwater lakes. In turn, this water drains through more than 100 salmon spawning streams. The reserve includes the hot spring island, with a hot spring. Topic: <inaudible> Flora. The west coast of Guayanas can receive over 4,000 millimeters (157.5 inches) of rain annually. Extreme exposure to wind and rain makes the forests on the west coast boggy and stunted, and are dominated by western red cedar and hemlock. Forests of the leeward, or eastern side of Guayanas, are classic coastal temperate rainforests. Dominant overstory species include large western hemlock, Sitka spruce, and western red cedar trees. Fauna <laughs> <laughs> Distinct island flora and fauna have evolved over thousands of years. Species here often differ from those found on the mainland. Many common continental species are not found on the islands, or have evolved into unique subspecies such as the black bear which is larger than its mainland cousin. Other species have been introduced relatively recently, such as the Sitka deer, ermine, raccoon, squirrel and beaver. 
Introduced species now exist in large numbers, much to the detriment of native plants and animals. An estimated 750,000 seabirds nest along the shoreline of Guayanas from May through August. Many are burrow nesters, such as the rhinoceros auklet, ancient murrelet, and tufted puffin. Bald eagles are a common sight and nest along the coastline. Because the islands are situated along the Pacific Flyway, dozens of species of migrating birds stop here in spring and fall. Access Guayanas came first in a survey of U.S. and Canadian national parks in National Geographic Traveler magazine, recognized for its pristine environment and sustainable management practices. Guayanas is a remote location, accessible by sea kayak, boat, or chartered floatplane only. An orientation is provided to all visitors before they enter Guayanas. See also List of National Parks of Canada National Parks of Canada Affiliations The museum is affiliated with, CMA, CHIN, and Virtual Museum of Canada. Notes <laughs>